Hi, welcome to my channel. Some of you may know that I just came back from Japan. That's why you are seeing all these color pencil sets. The reason I wanted to buy this because the price was so much better in Japan. It was not easy to pack them in my suitcase, but they all made it. No dent, no damage. Let's start. First, I have this Holbein 36 color pencil set. The design of the packaging is quite minimalist. On the front, you see all these lines that represent the colors in the set. On the back, they have the description for this color pencil in three different languages. On the right, you also see the numbers and the name of the colors. Pull the cover off is very straightforward. It's a silver tin with the logo embossed on it in the middle. Open it up, you will see the included brochure that show you all the colors they have. The reason I didn't buy a bigger set because I learned that unless I got a chance to try it, I may not like the pencil. And I don't want to start with a bunch of pencils that I don't like. Anyway, I think I will like this though because they are famous for their quality. Looking through the information, I'm so tempted to buy the 150 set. But they are so pricey here, so maybe I'll wait till next year when I get back to Japan. Looking at these pencils, they are absolutely gorgeous. I found that usually 36 or 48 sets would include most of the color you need. The coating on the barrel is smooth but not slippery to hold. You would also find the number and the name of the color on the barrel. In US, Holbein is probably one of the most expensive color pencils you can buy. But it's very different in Japan. The price is much more affordable. I'll touch on that later. Looking at these flawless pencils, I am regretting of not getting a bigger set. So let's hope I'll be able to visit Japan again next year. If you can only get one set of Japanese color pencil, definitely get Holbein. They're definitely worth every penny. Before we're looking at the next set, I want to share with you that I bought this at Sekaido in Shinjuku. It's a big art supply and stationery store that you do not want to miss. And also, they sell Holbein open stock pencils. The last time I checked on Amazon, the Holbein open stock pencils cost over $7. With the sales they had at the store, I think I only pay around $1.70 per pencil. Can you believe it? $1.70 compared to over $7 on Amazon. The price difference is mind-blowing. I'm glad that I was able to grab these open stock pencils. So if you love color pencil and you are able to visit Japan, buy as much as you could because the price is unbelievable. The pencil case you are seeing here was also from Sekaido. I believe I paid $3 for that. Now let's move on and look at the next set. The next set I want to show you is Tombow Irojitan Color Dictionary 36 Color Pencil Set. What can I say? I think they really master the art of packaging. I love that they design it like a book. At the back of the paper wrap, it tells you all the basic information about these sets of color pencils. I don't fully understand this, but I think this set of pencil is great for drawing nature, sceneries, animals, and flowers. After removing the paper wrap, you see this book design that I was talking about. I think this would look good on the bookshelf as well. After pulling off the paper sleeve, you see the box was designed like a hardcover book. It even has the elastic band to keep the cover closed. The packaging design for this set of color pencils is impeccable. I can totally see why people love collecting this set of pencils. Open up the box, I was surprised to see that they included a sharpener. I guess they really want to provide you a full experience. They were so thoughtful in the packaging design. I sure hope that the color pencils are as good as the packaging. On the cover, there's a folder that included a leaflet that has a bunch of information. First, you see a tutorial on teaching you how to draw a flower. Other than that, it also includes plenty of basic tutorials. I was surprised to see information on teaching you how to hold a pencil and the difference when you use a sharpener or using a blade to sharpen the pencil. Other than that, it also talks about the technique of blending and layering. I can see that this information could be helpful if you are someone who is self-taught colorist or self-taught artist. And then in the folder, I also found a swatching paper that has all the color names and numbers on it. I don't think I will use this paper because the paper is kind of smooth. I don't think the colors will lay down well on this paper. When looking at the individual pencil, it does have the color name and number printed on the barrel. But because they were printed in silver color, they are kind of hard to see. Looking at the tip of the pencil, I can tell that it's not a thick core pencil. My guess is it's around 3mm or 3.3mm. 3 .3 
This set of pencil is not a lot more expensive if you buy it on Amazon in US. I will link it in the description area if you are interested in trying them out or simply collecting because they are really pretty to look at. The next color pencil set I want to show you is Uni 36 color pencil set. These pencils are made in Japan and produced by Mitsubishi. I probably butcher the company name. I'll bring it closer. Maybe you can look at it yourself. At the back of the packaging, they do list out all the color name and number. But because of the design, it's kind of hard to see the colors. Removing the paper sleeve, the pencil case feel impressive. The material for the case seems substantial. The cover has magnetic closures. It kind of reminded me of pencil case I used when I was a kid. Open it up, hopefully you can see that the pencil case is really well made. Once again, it has all the colors listed on the cover. I'm really impressed by the packaging design. With a case like that, you can definitely reuse it in the future. Now, let's look at the pencils. I would say this set of color pencil includes most of the basic colors you need, including the gold and the silver. Looking at the individual pencil, it has the color name and number on the barrel. The paint finishing on the barrel feels like the Holbein one, but the lettering they use on the color name is kind of small and is printed in gold color. It's kind of hard to read. Other than that, I can see that the pencil core is definitely thicker than the one from Erogiton. So if you prefer a thicker core pencil, you may want to choose this one instead of the Erogiton one, but I believe this one is more expensive. What do you think about all these pencils? Which one is your favorite set? I'll be swatching this soon, so if you like to see them, please subscribe and hopefully I'll talk to you again soon. I appreciate you watch this video and sharing your thoughts in the comment area. Bye!